Okay, so I'm about to take you guys through what a typical Sunday recovery day looks like for me. Notice I said recovery day and not rest day because everyone always starts fucking crying. Like, that's not resting. You're working so hard, Jalen. Shut the fuck up. Okay, it's a recovery day. This is what I tend to do. This is my warm up right here. I'll do glute bridges, do some push ups, do some single leg glute bridges, a couple lunges, and use the kettlebell to warm up. Um, and, you know, get a little sweat going before I actually start the real circuit that I'm going to do. But what I wanted to talk to you guys today about was, like, calories, calories burned, the caloric deficit, what all of that shit means, and, you know, uh, what it means in the context of doing workouts like these and and how you don't really burn as many calories as you think. So I'm going to have uh, some images imposed in, in this video that show you how many calories I burned in this workout, which was, you know, it was moderately intense. It wasn't crazy, but you'll see it um, once I change over videos that I was I was sweating and I was working hard. And uh, <laughs> I bet you the amount of calories that I burned will surprise you. And I'm a big dude, so that means I'm burning more calories than you if you're, you know, half my size, right? So, um, yeah, so... Right here is the last movement I'm going to do uh, with the kettlebell. And then we'll switch over and we'll start talking about calories. Um, I need to describe the workout that I'm doing too. So the workout that I'm going to do after this warm-up, I'm going to be doing 15 Z presses and then 15 rows and then three minutes on the bike. Uh, every round, I just drop it. So it's going to be 12, 12, 230, and then it's going to be 10, 10, two minutes, and then uh eight eight one minute and 30 seconds on the bike and uh, i don't take any breaks i just go back and forth because the bike is lower body so it's a break from the upper body stuff i just did and uh it's all in all it was i think 25 minutes maybe not not even i don't think i think the full workout including the warm-up was 25 minutes so uh compared to my two hour or 90 minute weightlifting sessions uh this is this is a light workout so anyways, you, you can read literature that says, oh, doing high intensity circuits and moderate blah, blah, blah is better than low intensity or low intensity over a longer period of time is better for your caloric deficit than whatever. But at the end of the day, all of that shit is insignificant to me, man. Like the amount of calories that you're going to burn in a workout isn't shit compared to the food that you're eating like bro i ran 10 miles a couple weekends ago and it took me like an hour and 40 minutes i burned 1100 calories bro if you go to wendy's you replace that shit bro if you get a triple cheeseburger bro that shit's gone bro your 10 miles is gone so people people that think that they're gonna outwork their nutrition it's just not gonna happen bro you see how i work out you see the kind of intensity that I put in. If it was that easy, I wouldn't be 215 pounds. I want to be this weight, you know what I mean? I want to eat enough to be this weight because this is the weight that I compete at in weightlifting. But, you know, people, you know, they post Instagram circuits and they're like, do this to get shredded. Do this to burn your body fat up. Like, no, bro. If you do that circuit and then you go replace it with food, you, you, you didn't create a caloric deficit. Um, and... and your caloric deficit, like I said, it needs to be not based on your fucking workouts because you're never going to burn as many calories as you think. Like I said, I'm going to show you how many calories I burned in this circuit. Um, I think it was 250 maybe. So I'm burning like 10, 10, calories, uh, 10 calories a minute, roughly. And you ain't working out as hard as me, bro. Don't even lie to yourself, okay? I got this shit on like five times speed because I know y'all don't want to watch a 30 minute workout. So, like I said, when you create that caloric deficit, you need to focus on uh, what, 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 the amount of food that you need to eat. Don't think like, oh, I need to work out super hard so that I can burn this fat. I need to work out super hard to get in this caloric deficit. Nah, bro, you need to be in a caloric deficit with your nutrition. Your, your exercise is a, a, a complement and a supplement to that. So being a cardio bunny to try to create a caloric deficit is trash, bro. 
And the moment you stop doing that cardio, your eating habits are going to reveal themselves in the form of you gaining 20 pounds back. How many times have you seen that? How many times have you seen that person? It might even be you. The person that goes hard as shit, two-hour cardio sessions, coming in two times a day, they lose a bunch of weight. That's cool. And then you don't see them for a couple months, and then they come back, and ah, damn, you're the same size again. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you base everything off your exercise and you don't change your nutrition. You did create a caloric deficit with that shit ton of cardio that you did, but it's not sustainable, right? So it's going to come back. We have to actually change our nutrition. And it could help you to think of it as nutrition. Don't think about it. Oh, this diet that I don't want to do. Like, nah, bro, it's your body. You should care about your body. You should want to eat good things. You should want to eat you know, good amounts of food. Why Why do you want to stuff yourself and feel gross? You know what I mean? Like, nobody could tell me eating until you're, until you're so fucking full that you can't move feels good. That doesn't feel good, bro. You can lie to yourself, but that doesn't feel good. Um, sometimes we just need to exercise some self-control. And sometimes, or a lot of times, that shit's happening because of trauma. You know what I mean? People have, like, shit that they've been through, and eating brings them comfort. And that's, that's okay, I'm not I'm not talking shit about you, but you're probably not going to resolve that issue by going on a diet. You know what I mean? It's it's going to rear its head again in the future. So we we have to look within ourselves and uh and figure some stuff out sometimes. I watch uh my 600 pound life and hoarders and a lot of shows like that cuz I I love human behavior. I love uh human beings and all of those, all of those things, all of those times, those people are on the extreme, man. It's always, it's always emotional trauma. And this went in a totally different direction than I was thinking, but uh, that's just something that I've noticed. It's not, it, it's hardly people just like, oh yeah, I just eat a lot of food, like I gained a lot of weight. Like nah, bro, like they're eating to comfort themselves because some bad shit that happened. So, um, anyways, let's get back on track. Create that caloric deficit through your nutrition. And it needs to be slight, man. It needs to be sustainable. Like, you have to take baby steps. Like, I know, even if you are thinking, like, man, this is gross. I need to completely turn it around. Yeah, bro, that's just typically not how human beings work. You know what I mean? Going cold turkey off of stuff is usually not a good idea. Some people can struggle through it, but a lot of times that just puts you in a worse position, man. Don't be so hard on yourself. You know what I mean? If you eat a piece of cake every day... Maybe today, you know, eat half of that piece. Maybe tomorrow, eat half of the payday you normally eat. I'm talking to myself right now. Maybe cut out that bag of chips. It doesn't have to be, I'm turning everything around tomorrow. It needs to be, I'm taking a step forward tomorrow. Damn, I'm at like seven minutes already of talking. That is crazy, bro. Well, anyways, I think I said everything I needed to say. Um, I just got into this podcast and shit and i forgot that i actually be working out and that this channel was originally for fitness videos so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i'll probably make more videos like this just because i need to post more fitness stuff if there's anything you want to see let me know i make all kinds of videos animals fitness shit talking i don't know about comedy but pretty much anything besides comedy i got y'all anyways have a nice day thank you for watching the video peace Okay, yeah, no, I lied. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. There's more in this video that I wanted to talk about. This is actually the last thing, though. I want you to pay attention when I get off of here, what I do after I feel shitty. I get on the ground. You don't have to get on the ground, but I really focus on my breathing. You can see me slowing down my breathing. I'm really intentional. I'm breathing in my belly, not straight into my chest. And then at some point, I'm probably going to put my hand on my stomach because I always do to remind myself to breathe into my stomach. It's very important. It's very important when you're lifting. It's very important when you do cardio. It, uh, it's good for you. Um, and I'm going to impose that image right now of how many calories I burned when I got done with that workout. Just got finished. Like you just saw, I just brought my heart rate down. It's already back down to 125. If I just chill out for a little bit more, it'll be under 100. So um, I work hard when I'm working hard, but I recover really quickly. I make sure I breathe correctly, actually relax. You gotta be active about that.